this pipeline, hopefully you can see it running in a diagonal way through the building and I want to uh, replace it with a pipeline that's running in an orthogonal way. So uh, I need to to separate that pipeline from the rest of the laser scan. And to do so, I've prepared a, a saved view. So I open up this and it's just a box clipping around the, the laser scan that makes it easier for me to follow that pipeline. And to separate it now, uh, we have a kind of a spray can. So uh, I can have a radius and a distance setting. I will explain soon what it means. And if I now hover over the model, you see that uh, sphere and that sphere now can be used to to mark existing objects inside a laser scan. So just with uh, the shift key, I can start, oh, I, let me set it a nicer color. I can start to virtually spray my pipeline. So the, the diameter of the sphere is the radius setting and the distance setting is uh, how it behaves if I move along the the object. So if I move down here to the equipment, you see uh, it doesn't spray on the equipment. It only sprays when I follow uh, the pipeline and that's due to the distance setting. So that restricts uh, the depths of the spray can. And now I quickly can follow my pipeline. Let me go down here. Here it goes through the ground. So go here. I switch to the next floor. Here you see the scanner was not so exact. Okay, maybe. Okay. This way. And down here all the way. So we are nearly finished. Go down all the way. And for sure, if there is uh, too much spray, I can remove it very easily. And here the rest till I reach the pump. Okay, now I've painted virtually my laser scan. Now I can click that button, button to see what I've selected. And now I can save that to a UPVC file. Now you see that's the pipeline. And what I now can do I can select the pipeline. Uh, we will have the possibility to give it a name and some attributes. So you can name the pipeline for searching. I can now hide that object. And I've prepared also a sketch. So let's go in and load the sketch for the new pipeline. And all I've did, I used our sketching functionality and replace the pipeline with a new one here that has virtually the same routing, but does not go diagonal here, but uh, orthogonal and goes down. It uses a little bit a different routing. So you see here, I've used different routing. And now in the laser scan, and that's what's nice feature on this is, if you have a look in a laser scan and you do it there, you will recognize here there's a yellow beam and that might be suspicious because we look at the other side. It's not only a beam, it's a crane. So maybe it was not a good idea to replace the diagonal line by that orthogonal because it crosses the, the space of the crane. And that's very easy to see if you use it inside UPV with uh, the full meshed model. Okay, so maybe 
the new plant pipeline you route another way that I did. Okay, so we will polish that function a little bit to make it even more easy to use it. And then you can use a spray can to separate only those objects of interest. And the rest of the laser scan, you do not have to remodel if you can still use uh, the mesh model you see here. And we think that's a, a very useful feature. 